The Last Starship has a number of different resources to manage in order to keep your crew alive. I've seen a few comments that suggest people aren't sure how to hook everything up to manage these. So, welcome to Lawrence Plays, where I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how everything works. First off, everything needs power, so I'll start by placing a reactor. The reactor burns fuel to generate power, so I'll place a loader next to it to allow my crew to fill it up. The loader takes fluids out of bottles and puts it into pipes, so I'll use a pipe to link the two of them together so it starts running. Now we wait a moment or two for the crew to build those two machines and eventually load in a bottle of fuel and that the loader will pump this out into the reactor and we have power. Next let's think about air. Currently all my crew are wearing their spacesuits because the air in the ship isn't breathable because there isn't any. Let's fix that first. We need to place an air duct which blows fresh air out into the ship and a loader to get oxygen out of bottles and feed it to the air duct. So we place these down then run power to the air duct so it can run and join the loader to the air duct with a pipe. Now that the pipe is fitted, the crew can tell what the loader is supposed to be doing, so they'll bring over a bottle of oxygen. Without this, the loader could be for anything. If I now flick over to the atmosphere overlay, you'll see the air level, and once the air duct kicks in, it'll start improving. Once it has improved enough, the crew will automatically take their spacesuits off for comfort. Note that if you tell them to put them back on, as long as the atmosphere is breathable, they won't use up the air in the spacesuit tanks. So this will work fine for a while. You can blow oxygen out into the ship to keep the crew alive, but carbon dioxide will start to build up. So to combat that, we place down a CO2 scrubber, an air reprocessor and a small tank. The CO2 scrubber pulls in air from the ship's atmosphere and removes the CO2 which can then be fed into the air reprocessor which breaks the CO2 down into its components, feeding the oxygen back out again. At this stage it just seems to delete the carbon so it never fills up, so that's fine. Link in the power cables and the pipes as usual. Note that the cables can overlap pipes with no problems, but pipes will link if they touch causing problems, so don't do this. If your CO2 level has built up, you will need somewhere to put the extra oxygen you've created. This is why I've added in a small tank. This will allow the scrubber and the processor to turn the CO2 into oxygen and dump it into the tank without running into pressure problems. Yes, this isn't entirely accurate to real life, but you know, we're still in pre-alpha playtesting here, so let's uh, give them a chance. I also removed the loader to prevent the crew from filling up the tank from the oxygen bottles. So that's the air sorted out. Your crew will now be able to breathe easy. Let's move on to taking a look at another essential resource for life, water. If we take a look at the habitation deck, you can see it's starting to slowly fill up with sewage from your crew. This is both disgusting and a valuable raw resource which would be fools to waste, so let's take a look at processing that. Place down a sewage pipe first. This pipe has to be placed under an area of habitation deck so that the raw sewage can be brought into the system. This can be fed into a waste treatment machine and then into a water purifier and finally another tank. As usual, link in the pipes and cables as required. As you can see, it will quickly reprocess the sewage back into water and compost, allowing your crew to recycle the water forever. I believe both these systems will work closed loop, that is, you can leave it running forever and the crew won't run out of air or water, you just need to keep the ship supplied with food and fuel. I imagine that in the future, there will be systems for turning the compost into food, but that will have to wait for another update. I hope this quick run through has been useful for you. I'm running streams to talk about updates as and when they're made, and summary videos as well. So stick around, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next one.